Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a pen video for you. This is not something I normally do, but I've got a pen to share with you. It's not this pen. I brought this pen in by way of introduction. This is the Zebra F701. Great knife. I've carried it a ton. Now, this is an older one. Since this time, they've switched this to stainless steel, which I do like. And I will get one of those all stainless steel versions and, uh, uh, you know, include it in my ensemble of potential carry pens uh, and this is the pen that i have edc'd for a long time all right now i made this point recently in my most carried video but i have to say i've tried tons and tons of tactical pens and i don't like any of them okay uh, i especially hate the ones that take the uh, fisher space pen refill i just don't like the way fisher space pens write um, i i guess there's a fine point option available but i almost feel like i'm writing with a crayon when i write with a fisher space pen uh, what i like about this pen is the very fine point now they call it 0.7 but the the amount of space that actually makes contact with the paper is much smaller than 0.7. So I really like the line this produces. I like the size. I like the overall look of this, the simplicity of it. Really nice knife, a pen. My one complaint was I often found that after these started to get a little bit empty, and I'll just quickly show you this. Uh, once you start to now see this one's getting pretty down, you can actually see the ink and what starts to happen is even before this, even when it starts to get a little, even a little bit empty, but halfway through its sort of lifespan, I find they start to suck in terms of, uh, reliability and just ease of writing and all of that. So because of that, I was not you know, I was kind of in the, I looking for something else and <clears throat> I had the suggestion from Justin over at White Mountain Knives that I try one of these pens out. In fact, he sent me one because he said, you know, this is not your typical tactical pen. It's much lighter. It's much more carryable. You might enjoy it. And I actually do. Now, I do have, um, I put a Parker Jotter fine point refill in here and it works really well. Uh, I'm not totally in love with the original refill that it came with. Again, just a little thicker than I like. But while doing research on what refills to put in this, I stumbled upon this knife right pen. Why do I want to keep saying knife? I know because I'm a knife reviewer. Um, but I stumbled across this pen and this is the Zebra X701. So it's meant to be sort of the heavy duty, uh, dare I say, tactical version of this pen. The, there are a number of differences. And in fact, I don't even know you could call it the 701. I think that's more of a marketing choice because this pen is so popular, um, but they're, they're actually quite different. Um, and so when I heard that that was a thing, I did a little bit of quick research and then I picked one up and, and I've got to say very, very quickly, this pushed everything else out of my pocket. I carry this all the time. I use it for all my writing. And I think this is one of the main reasons I'm so picky about this. I actually do a lot of writing. You guys, I think a lot of you guys know I'm a preacher. That's my, that's my full-time gig. And, you know, so I'm writing down notes and thoughts all the time, kind of working through stuff. And for me, writing stuff out on paper clarifies my thoughts and just makes me much more effective. So I write on paper a lot. Of course, all my reviews, whether it be a knife or a pen review like this, I write all my notes on paper, just scrap pieces of paper that I'm, I, what I do is I collect all the, <laughs> all the used pieces of paper from around the building. And in order to get a second life out of them before I recycle them, I use them for writing notes for, you know, reviews and, and sermons and classes and stuff like that. So I do a ton of writing and so for me a pen has to write well and it has to feel really good in hand and that's why this one just really really shines it, it carries well it's very lightweight like half an ounce it is super super comfortable in hand so when you're holding this writing it just feels great it doesn't require a lot of pressure it makes a really fine clean crisp line so for all of those reasons i absolutely adore this pen now i've got to i'm going to take a little aside and i know i'm a little all over the place but i want to ask does anybody use one of these little field notes books um i don't know i feel like i have a cell phone with me all the time which has a note taking app and i just use that almost always uh the other thing is this is great to fit in a pocket but i i don't know i just 
I'm on the fence. I'm thinking about trying this uh, or giving it away and I haven't decided what to do with it yet. So <laughs> let me know, should I carry this around and see if I actually like it or just, uh, because if I carry it around in my pocket, it's gonna get messed up and I'm not gonna be able to give it away. I'll have to give it to my kids to draw pictures in, which is still fine. Uh, notebook that's this size. Uh, this is what I carry in my EDC bag. And this is a brand new one for the purposes of this video. But this is what I like to carry and use. So uh, you can also see the line this produces, uh, which I really, really like. Okay, very, very quickly, um, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw right alongside it with a couple of other pens. So this is the Pilot Doctor Grip. This is my Wii T02. This is a pen that I was actually lent by a friend of mine. It's got the same grip in it, but this is a Tucson pen uh, with that same uh, Parker Jotter fine point in it. Uh, a friend of mine wants me to review this guy. Uh, this is uh, one of those uni 0.3 millimeter super fine, fine tip um, jet streams. So uh, you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see it well on video, but of all of these, this feels the best, looks the cleanest. It's just the most enjoyable to write with out of all these pens and, you know, and many more that I have tried. So my argument for why I think this is the best of the EDC pen options out there. Let me just outline that very quickly for you. So it's lightweight, it only weighs half an ounce. It's, it's marginally heavier than your average Bic pen. All right, it's extremely comfortable in hand. It feels great when writing, both the feel in hand as well as the feel on the paper. Um, it's not very expensive. I think these are like 15 bucks Canadian. So that means for you guys in the States, they're probably $10 or $8 or something like that. Um, and, and of course, beyond all of that stuff that pertains to writing, you could absolutely, this is a full stainless steel barrel, so you could absolutely use this as a fault force multiplier if you needed to, and just hopefully you would never need to. Um, I've been really preparing for this, trying to think of what I could complain about, um, and I, I can't think of anything, okay? So I'm gonna give you the features and then I'll, and I'll continue to keep thinking about this as we go along. So what we've got, stainless steel barrel, it's of course a click style pen. Um, pocket clip is quite nice, similar to what's already found on the original uh, 701. The refills look like this. And I've got to say one really unique thing about these pens and these refills is the way they function. So when the pen is not out, okay, so when this is not depressed, uh, there's no pressure on the ink, but the act of depressing the plunger there pushes down, pushes a little insert down into the the uh, refill there and pressurizes the ink. So no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure. Now the one bad thing about that is if you leave this like this, you might get a blob of ink down at the bottom, but you just kind of have to remember not to do that. Um, it can be annoying if I'm in a class or something where I'm sitting there with everyone and you know, you'll write something down and then you can stop writing, you put your pen down. Well, before you put your pen down, you do need to depress the plunger so you're not constantly applying pressure to the ink, okay? Uh, so that's just a quick rundown of how this works and, and why it works. Uh, the one, th there are two complaints that I could think of, okay? One is it's not as fidget friendly as something like this. This pen is insanely addictive. You can sit here and play with this bearing lock, uh, bolt lock, I'm sorry, all day. It's extremely fidgety. Now, <laughs> the fact is, in most public settings, this is inappropriate. People are going to want to strangle you. But when I'm sitting in my office thinking about stuff, you know, I already mentioned I'm a, I'm a uh, preacher, so I'm thinking about a problem that's come up that someone shared with me, or I'm thinking about, you know, some project that I'm working on or event that I'm planning. I'll be sitting here just doing this like crazy, and it's so much fun. However, that this is not nearly as much fun, the clicking. And if you're clicking it all the time, you're gonna run into that problem of pressurizing the ink over and over again, which 
may not be ideal. I guess the other thing, when I compare it to this or this, maybe it's not as classy. All right, now, I don't know, guys, that to me is not a concern. Um, you know, maybe, you know, Zebra could add like a, a string quartet and uh, some, some chocolate covered fruit and make this a little more classy, uh, you know, like the, the opening of a car dealership. But <laughs> to me, I, I don't know, I'm just not a very classy guy, I guess. I really don't care. All right, so let me wrap up by, by suggesting, I, I hope that I have uh, advocated for this pen strongly enough and explained why I love it. It's, it's cheap, it writes well, it's comfortable, it's light, it's tough. And yeah, I guess you can write upside down and all that. That's, that's one of the things they talk about. For to me, that's, to me, that's not a thing. I will put an Amazon link down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to